welcome at Twende Shure, the project that offer an online teaching in various subjects. So in the previous lesson, we were discussing about the impact of the first world war. Therefore, one of the impact of the first world war, we said, or the calling of Versailles Peace Street. Therefore, today we are going to discuss about Versailles Peace Street. Therefore, we may define the Versailles Peace Street as the agreement which signed after the First World War. So the agreement was signed on 18 of January in 1919 between the victorious powers of the war, which aimed to punish German and his allies at the constative of the war. We remember that after the First World War, the Triple Entente were the victory of the war. Therefore, they dictated the conference which was called the Versailles Peace Street and they discussed the, about what will be the aftermath of the First World War. And during this Versailles Peace Street is where they proposed the formation of the League of Nations in order to maintain the world peace and prevent the occurrence of another world war. Though the League of Nations failed, that led to the eruption of the Second World War, is where now they replaced the League of Nations with another organization which was called the United Nations Organization, which was formed in 1945. And nowadays they have changed its name, uh, its name from United Nations Organization. Now we call it UN, United Nations. Therefore, during the Versailles Peace Street, they signed an agreement whereby the agreement was dictated by four big, uh, we call it big four, which was USA, Britain, France and Italy. So here, among these big four who dictated the, uh, the peace treaty, they were represented either by a president or by a prime minister or by an executive officer. For instance, for the side of USA, and USA the one which, uh, who chaired the meeting or who chaired the peace treaty, was represented by the president of USA at that time, who was called Wilson Woodrow. So Wilson Woodrow, uh, Woodrow was from USA. Then Britain was presented by Lord George. Britain was Present, uh, uh, represented by Lord George, who was the Prime Minister of Britain at that time. The same to France was represented by George Cremens. By George Cremens, who was the Prime Minister of France at that time. Then on the side of Italy was represented by Orlando. for the executive officer. Of Italy. So each country attended the meeting to discuss about the aftermath of the First World War with their own intention. For instance, Wilson Woodrow, the main aim wanted to maintain the world peace, that we need to form an organization which will maintain the world peace and prevent the occurrence of another world war. To Lord George wanted Britain, I mean Lord George wanted to punish Germany to pay for the loss and damage of the war. While George Clemens of France wanted to punish Germany, that Germany will never invade France again. Remember during the, uh, the, the Franco-Prussian War in, 19, uh, in 1870 to 1871, I said, Germany annexed the two provinces from France, which was Assas and, uh, and Lorraine. So during that annexation, it triggered the hostility between France and Germany. So George Clemens proposed that German, uh, the conservative of the war, must be punished to the extent that we will never become powerful to invade France again. But also Orlando, the mission of Orlando from Italy was just to regain uh, the territory because he was promised the, 
since 19, uh, 1915 that when you, you withdraw from the triple alliance, then you join us after the war, we are going to redistribute the territory, so we'll be given the territory. So Orlando attended the meeting so that he may gain the territory, that Italy may gain the area of influence either in Africa or other parts of the world. So they had their own mission. Then they discussed the various issues during this Versailles Peace Treat. So now, what were the terms of the treat? What was discussed? As I said, that the aim or the aim to punish German and his allies are the constative of the war. But we see here, most of the time we are directed to German because they accused the German to be the constative of the war. So all punishment were mostly directed to German and his army. But the most country which were affected much was German. So the terms of the Vesapi Street can be categorized into three categories. We have territorial cross, we have military cross, but also we have war reparation cross. So let us start discussing about the territorial clause or the term related to the territorial division. So after the First World War, when they completed this Vesa Peace Treaty on 18 January 1919, though German signed the letter on 28th of June 1919, the same year, signed the letter on the 28th of June 1919, is when our German signed this treaty. So during the treaty first, the German was not participated, was not invited. And his areas, Austria, Hungary, and other countries that participated on the side of German during the First World War, we are not invited to the meeting. So the meeting was dictated by those victorious power who made the victory during the First World War. Now, what were the terms of the treaty? On the side of territorial cross, uh, France regained the Assas and Lorraine. France regained the Assas and Lorraine. Why we say regained? Because before Assas and Lorraine was dominated by France. But it was annexed by Germany during the Franco Prussian War of 1870 to 1871. So in 1919, after the Vesa Peace Treaty, is where now Assas and Lorraine, as it was the most important province for the extraction of coal and iron, was returned to France. This was the dictation of the treaty on the issue of territorial cross. Another territorial cross was about the territory that were given to Belgium, that Jem, uh, Belgium took Yupin and Timamed. These were also part of German. It was part of German, but it was taken by Belgium, because Belgium also fought on the side of triple entente. So, as to pay him, uh, the matter of uh, hospitality, they decided to pay him that you Belgium just take European and the Mamed, which were the part of German. When you see the European map, you may see at the western part of German is where European and the Mamed is located, and it is near Belgium. So Belgium, the nearby province of European and Mamed, was taken by Belgium from Germany. Another territorial cross was about the area that we are given to Poland. So when you see the map also, you may find that in the eastern part of Germany, there is Poland. Therefore, Poland was uh, 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 Poland annexed the eastern territories, whereby these eastern ter uh, territories included Posen and the western Prussia. So Posen and Western Prussia, because it was the province near to Poland, it was taken by Poland. And this made the Eastern Prussia to be isolated, because here in between, uh, for instance, here, let's say here we have, this is German, okay? This is German. So here is Prussia. Then this is, uh, this is Eastern Prussia, then this is Western Prussia.